Big man. Hey, Bruno. Hey, Bruno, how are things? Well, now I ain't down the list. How'd you know I was going to ask you that? Well, let's just say you're not the first to ask, or the second, or the third. Boom. There's this guy named Dwight. He's on the list. I doubt that. Everybody wants to see who's on this list. I mean, everybody. It's almost as if it had the answer to the cosmic riddle or something. But what is it? The answer? The list. Oh, this is the people that we've seen so far. The, uh, the check marks are the people that we've eliminated. And the stars are next to the people who we've settled on for the part. I don't see too many check marks on here. Well, I wanted to give everyone a fair chance. Hmm. You still have Coco and Julie up for the same part? Oh, yeah, that, that, that depends on um, which way we decide to go with it. Mm -hmm. All right, Louis Flaconi for the judge. That's OK. Danny Amatulo. The part of Theo. Yeah. The part of Theo has to make a major contribution to the crazy lady number. The production number. I, th I thought that we agreed there'd be some, some crossover in this. He hates dancing. The only way I can get that boy to dance is to come after him with a whip, a chain, and a chair. Now, I don't want to have to mug somebody to get him to rehearsals. It's all right, son. Go on. It's all right. I'll talk to Mr. Reardon about it. No need in getting on your case. The deal was, I was brought into this as equal among equals. If that's true, then you should be able to get on my case as easily as you would Mr. Reardon's. Putting Danny Amatulo in this dance number was short-sighted, incredibly ignorant of the needs of the show, and just plain old flat-out dumb. That's what you would have said to Mr. Reardon? Believe it. Thank you very much for sharing that with me. I appreciate it. You're welcome.